Lesson 10.2, read picture graphs. We can use a picture graph to show data as pictures. Data is information that is numbers, words, or both. Each picture stands for a certain amount. And the key will tell us how many each picture stands for. We learned in the last video that a survey is a collection of data from answers to a question. And that's linked in the description if you missed it. We gather the answers as data and can organize them into a picture graph. So a picture graph uses pictures to show data, to show information. Here we have favorite fruit and you can see they counted some people. It's for our key right here. The key shows us how many each picture stands for. It says each smiley face stands for one person. So they have banana, apple, orange, and we can see there's more banana. We can see the fewest is apple. So a picture graph uses pictures. It's telling us to use the picture graph to answer the questions. So let's look at the picture graph first. The title is Number of Movies Bob Saw. We can see it's June and July. And the key says that each box of popcorn equals one movie. So here's the questions. Which month did Bob see fewer movies? We can see there's three boxes of popcorn for June and there are five for July. If each box of popcorn equals a movie, the fewest would be June. This question says, how many more movies did he see in July than June? We can see the empty spaces here. This has two more boxes of popcorn than June. That means he saw two more in July. Two more movies. Picture graphs and tally charts make it easier for us to answer comparison questions. We can compare one thing to another. We learned about tally charts also in video 10.1. And be careful, make sure to compare the correct data. Again, it's telling us to use the picture graph to answer the questions. Let's look at the picture graph first. It says loaves of bread baked. We have Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. The key tells us that each loaf of bread picture is equal to a loaf of bread. So how many loaves were baked on Monday and Tuesday? We look at Monday and we count four. We look at Tuesday and we count four. Well, four plus four is eight. That's eight loaves for Monday and Tuesday. How many more loaves were baked on Tuesday than Wednesday? We look at Tuesday has four, Wednesday has two. Tuesday has two more than Wednesday. See how it's sticking out two more than the Wednesday one? Two more loaves. So we were comparing the Tuesday loaves to the Wednesday loaves. We wanna be careful and make sure that we're comparing the correct data. You don't want to accidentally compare Monday and Tuesday or Monday and Wednesday when we're supposed to compare Tuesday and Wednesday. Let's look at this picture graph. The title says number of lawns Dave mowed. And the key says that each lawnmower stands for one lawn. We can see it's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And the question up here says which day did Dave mow the fewest number of lawns? So we're looking for the fewest number. We look for the shortest line here. And Friday only has two lawn mowers, so Friday would be the fewest. This question says, which two days did Dave mow a total of nine lawns? So we need to look at the numbers that are in the days to figure out which two days would equal nine. Well, one of the ways that would help us would be to write the total number at the end to help. Friday has two, 
Saturday has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We put a seven. And Sunday has one, two, three, four, five. We put a five. So which two of these would equal nine? If you said the two and the seven, you're right. It would be Friday and Saturday. Two plus seven is equal to nine. It wouldn't be two and five, that's only seven. And it wouldn't be seven and five, that's 12. So the only days that would total nine would be Friday and Saturday. And this question down here says, how many lawns did Dave mow? Well, we can count each picture separately. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We also could have added the totals that we came up with. 7 plus 5 is 12, plus 2 more is 14. He mowed 14 lawns. This picture graph says favorite lollipop flavor for the title. It's got grape, cherry, lemon, and orange, and the key is telling us that each smiley face stands for one child. The first question is, which two flavors were chosen by the same number of children? We can look on our picture graph to see which have the same amount. We can see that cherry and orange have the same amount. If we're not sure, we can count them. This question says, which three flavors were chosen by a total of 25 children? We need three flavors, there's four here, but we only need three of them that would total 25. So we think each, we can find each flavor total first. There are seven grape, there are nine cherry, there are four lemon, and there are nine orange. We need three of these that would equal 25. Do you know which three it would be? We can try adding different numbers. We can add the seven, the nine, and the four. That's 20. That's not enough, we need 25. We can try adding the nine, the four, and the nine. That's 22, that's still not enough. We need 25. We can try adding the seven, the nine, and the nine, and that does equal 25. That means we have grape, cherry, and orange. When we add the numbers of grape, cherry, and orange together, we get a total of 25. So remember to be very careful. Make sure you are answering exactly what the question's asking. Our next lesson, 10.3, we're gonna make our own picture graphs. I hope you have a really good day and I hope I'll see you then. Bye.